I remember so long ago. Oh, no, no, we're, the, we're not up to that one yet. The, we're doing Martian Road, Maidaho Road intersection improvements first. So who would like to um, move that? Um, David East, Glenn Livingston. And is there anything you want to say about the um, Martian Road, Maidaho Road intersection improvements? No, that, that's just a straightforward. It's all um, straightforward. straightforward. And it's, um, it's a good resolution um, for the, the landowners around, so we're happy with the result. That's great. Yanni? Are we putting a traffic light here? Yes, that's already under construction. Right. Yep. Okay. And um, have you got any concerns about the number of traffic lights in this vicinity? I think that that intersection warrants it. It's always been a real hot spot for um, incidences and accidents, um, and I think it will improve the, the safety for cyclists and, and people entering and exiting Murray Howe Road. Okay. Martian, Martian Road is not going to be the main route um, into the into the centre of the city when the northern arterial is complete. So. Yeah, it just, it's, I'm just trying to get my head around. We're spending all this money in Cranford Street to Innes Road, and we've got this huge issue there. And then, in, and so we're trying to free up the traffic. And then on the other corridor that I think is a natural kind of way in which people would want to come in, we're putting more traffic lights. But it won't be the natural corridor. It's going to be a much less important road when the northern arterial comes on. The northern arterial starts at, is it Cheney's? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just, it's just not going to be an issue. Yep. Um, David? Look, I can understand uh, Councillor Johansson's um, concern about proliferation of um, traffic lights, but there's really no option for this intersection here, and, and without traffic lights and peak traffic, uh, people coming off Murray Howe Road, which is a, uh, a major exit for the Parklands, Tamara Park, and, and all of those sort of subdivisions, traffic banks right back up yep. a couple of k's. And, and to um, try and uh, remediate traffic issues around there without traffic lights is nigh on impossible. So yeah. um, uh, there is a short distance from here to the lights at QE2, and then again at the Bunnings, and then again at. Um, um, yeah. Briggs Road, but um, it, it's, I think it's really unavoidable. With the um, and the traffic lights are reasonably synchronised right through that stretch, so um, I don't see any other option, and I think it's a good, uh, a good measure to um, support and get Yeah, going. Well, the council might like to reflect on the decision that was made around the Bunnings, the home base. Um, yeah. but, but anyway, we won't go there, because that was before our time. So I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. And now we come to the issue that I raised with the council, oh, I think about 10 years ago when I was the <laughs> Member of Parliament for this area, which is fixing the speed limits outside the Alpine View and um, the Limes subdivision. So it's fantastic and I'm absolutely delighted. And actually I would like to move this motion <laughs> myself, but I would like to move the board recommendation. Um, would, is there a seconder for that, David? <laughs> so, is, um, I don't think there's any discussion on that. No, no, no issues. No. So how, how long would it take to get that? Well, hang on, hang on. We've asked for, I asked for 50 kilometres an hour, that the sign to be moved 300 metres, you know, and, and that, was, that was, well, it may not have been 10 years ago, it might have been eight years ago, um, the last time that there was a, a review done and I just missed the review, apparently, so they said they weren't going to be doing it again for a while. So um, the, the, the thing is, is that that area has got to be 50k because you've got, you've got elderly people 
coming in and out of the retirement village in, in, their, in their own cars. I mean, they are not, they're not incompetent to drive. They're perfectly competent to drive. But you're expecting them to go into now a 60K area. That's just not acceptable. It's not acceptable to have a residential subdivision and a retirement village of all things going into a 60K area. It's currently 80K, which is ridiculous, and that sign should have been moved years ago. But now we've got the opportunity to, to put in the 50K area um, outside that, those two um, subdivisions, Limes and, um, and uh, Alpine View. What, what do you mean? To move it? Sorry, so calculated. How, what do you mean calculated? I think you're going to have to join us at the table. Sorry. Sorry. And, and hey? Paul Burden. Yes, sorry, Paul, Paul Burden, uh, Road Corridor Operations Manager. All those years ago. So the, the, the legal op opinion that we've had recently um, tells us that when you go about setting a speed limit, you have to follow a process. And that process, basically, you go through a calculation and it comes up with a number. That, but what, what's a calculation? The calculation is based on a number of whether there's uh, schools in the area, the number of access points, um, the, um, the classification of the road, for example, the traffic volumes. And that will, that will give you a number that, that, that the, the rule says is the speed limit. Okay, that's the, so that's the um, default that we would use in setting our speed limits is the number that the rule sets. If there are extenuating circumstances of which you've been describing, we then the rule allows the council to go back to NZTA and say, hey, look, we realise that this is what the, the number of the rule has spit out, <clears throat> but there are some extenuating circumstances. Can we please have your uh, acceptance of a lower speed limit or a higher speed limit, as the case may be? Right. We have to provide the justification for, for, for doing that. Now, what I'm saying, just hold that thought, what I'm saying is, what, what you want to move is, is 7.1.4, right? But what I'm saying is you can't do that because that applies to the whole area, not just the Alpine View subdivision. It applies to an area where there is no justification for a 50 kilometre an area. You have to resolve, if you want of a, of a mind to move to make Alpine View 50 kilometres an hour, you have to go to... Um, the, the comment there uh, under the note, should the recommendation under 7.1.4 not be accepted, then consideration be given to shift the 60 km hour limit west of Alpine View Lane. That's not the recommendations that are before you. So can we do that? That, that would be lawful in Council your view? Council staff would, have bit more, uh, would be more comfortable going to NZTA with a justification to do that. OK, so well, I'm happy to change the motion that, um, so 7.1.4 um, go approved that the speed limit on Pre Preston's Road be set at 60 kilometres per hour, commencing at a point 50 metres east of Martian Road and extending in an easterly direction to a point um, um, how many metres west of Alpine View Lane. Well, I'm hoping to, I was hoping to have those dimensions ready for you, but I can't. This, there's a fundamental error in this. The uh, staff recommendation is actually saying 60 kilometres an hour back, including the um, Oasis Grove. Uh, sorry, the, the residential um, old people's home. What we've been trying, what you've been trying to do for years, and what no, no, this but I'm fixing that. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm going to extend it in an easterly direction to a point x meters west. West, yeah, you've got to change west. That's yeah. saying east. X meters west. Um, 
But it's, is it Oasis Grove? Is that the name of the street? No, that's the street that goes into the Lyme subdivision. No, well then it's, it's, it's west of Alpine View, View Lane. Lane. Yeah. And it's but that still X, doesn't... But uh, it's X metres. And I don't know what the X is. With respect, that still probably compromises the LTSA ruling or whatever. Because no, 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 no. What we've just that, heard from staff is that they can legally justify that. 60K. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 50K. No, 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 no. 50K. No, they're changing. They're saying it's 60K, 60K down Preston's Road. Correct. It will be 50K. Uh, along from um, Alpine View Lane. West of Alpine View Lane. Yeah, west. Yeah. The other way. Well, they're saying east in this report. Yes, I know, which I'm fixing. I'm amending it. What's the name Eastern? <laughs> Jane. Um, our recommendation is if you don't want to accept 7.1.4, which we get, that we come back to you with a revised resolute or recommendation on that. A recommendation is that we don't do it here. Well, we, there's a high chance we'll get it wrong. So well, we, we say no to 7.1.4, but come back with a solution. We, that, we, will, uh, yeah. we will come back with a, a appropriate uh, resolution that reflects the note below. We've been asking this for when? this for months, and now suddenly it can... Uh, today? Today. 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 Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll uh, let's defer yep. this decision until later on today. So we'll. we'll okay. Yep, okay. Right. right, it's 20 past 10, we're moving on. Um, was, there, there, was there anything else that um, no. you wanted to raise? No, nothing, nothing. No, okay, so we, we, we'll. Um, we, We'll, we'll deal. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with the. Yeah, we'll, we'll move and second the report after. So thank you very yep. much, Andrea. We'll, we'll sort it out today. Yep. Thank you. Cool. Thank, thank you, you very much. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> All those years work. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. It was him. <laughs> 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 I was, I just, oh, I just didn't know, I just didn't know. Okay, Val, the um, Fendleton Waimari community.